Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. So it's been a little while since I've done a video in our Fiddle Techniques series, but don't fret, we're not done with the series yet. And today we're continuing with that series with a video on a technique called the pull off. So we'll get into that later, but first, if you like this video and find it to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That's the biggest compliment you can give. And if you are not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, but enjoy my videos and find them to be helpful, then please click that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you can be updated each time I upload a new video. All right, so one of the videos in our techniques series that we went over was called the hammer on. But today we're talking about its friend or kind of its opposite called the pull off. So with the hammer on, we talked about how we start with a lower note and then play the finger above that note or the next highest note. But with the pull off, it's the opposite. We start with the higher note and then release that finger to the lower note. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like and what that sounds like. So just to do a little comparison to start off with, the hammer on, just to remind you, sounds like this. Okay, so in this example, I started with an open A and then landed my first finger on a B. Now if I were to do the reverse of that with the pull off, it's just like it sounds. I am pulling my first finger off the string this time. So it would sound like this. Okay, so it's kind of exactly the opposite of the hammer on. Some would even argue that this is a little bit easier than the hammer on, but really we're just taking whatever note we're playing, lifting that finger and going to the next note below it. So if I were to do another example, let's say we're on the E string going from an A to a G sharp and we're kind of using our A, our third finger to enhance the G sharp with a pull off that would sound like this. All right, so this is another one of those techniques that you see often in the Scottish or Irish tradition. So it is a fun little ornament to add into those types of styles, but also you can implement it into any style really. So I hope you'll have fun with this pull off and get a chance to kind of play around with it and implement it into your playing. I hope you enjoyed learning about this technique today. And as always, if you have any requests for fiddle techniques that you'd like to learn more about, definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below. And who knows, you might end up seeing one of those techniques in a future video. But until next time, happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.